Hey, what's up, guys? Sam here, and I'll be doing the free video for Friday, April 26, 2024. So I'm getting this one out about an hour before the market closes, but I don't expect too much to change. Um, I actually just finished making the premium video for the folks in the gold room, and there wasn't a ton of clarity, right? We looked at the SPY, we looked at the Qs, we looked at the IWM, we looked at interest rates, dollar, and VIX, and the strongest signals actually continue to be from the dollar and from the VIX, excuse me, from the dollar and from interest rates, uh, both wanting to go higher. Um, next week is also Fed, as well as some more mega cap tech earnings. So as we go into next week, I ask myself, well, I ask my indicator actually, I ask my indicator, I say, hey, indicator, do we have any edge going into next week? And the indicator says, you are neutral, negative eight. And this is out of 50. So a negative eight is not really much of anything. That's why it's neutral. Now, I say, okay, thank you, indicator. I then look at the actual indicator that itself, and I ask myself, has anything changed? And you can see down here that you had this incredibly strong signal back here, which launched the, the rally. This was back in October. And then you got it, the corresponding opposite signal now. The change is right here in that you're getting some reversal signals from both indicators. Um, you can see the arrows there to the upside the last three four days. Even though you have these reversal signals here on SPY, the end result is still a negative eight, which is a neutral chart. So I could look at the QQQ with you, I could look at the IWM, but they're all basically the same. The IWM is worse, so that one's actually bearish, slightly bearish. Um, so I'll just kind of shortcut it. Going into next week, when I have a neutral chart in front of me with some reversal signals, I then have to skew my bias slightly to the bullish side, but, and you can see there in the box there, those signals there, the neutral negative eight, is pretty strongly telling me that I probably don't need to be carrying large swing positions going into next week. Swing positions meaning a position that lasts two, three weeks. Right when, when I have a neutral negative eight like this, going into a volatile week of high impact events, it tells me to shrink my time frame and find whatever time frame actually does have clarity. Because if there's no clarity on the daily time frame, you can always go to the hourly. If there's no clarity on the hourly, you can go to the 15. And if there's no clarity on the 15, you can go to the five or the one. So find whatever time frame has clarity for you and trade that until larger time frames allow for more clarity either to the bull side or to the bear side. I'm pretty agnostic. I don't care what direction this thing wants to go. All I need is a little bit of clarity. I don't have it on the daily chart at the moment, but that's okay. We can always just pull back to a 15 minute chart, which does have clarity and trade that until something bigger like the hourly, four hour or daily start to develop as well. So hopefully it is helpful to you. Um, basically all the signals that I looked at in the premium video were telling me one thing and that is um, kind of what I was already biased towards, which was going into next week pretty light. The only thing I'll be holding going into next week are Walmart, Costco, and then I have EMPH uh, short, which we got filled on today. So I'll hold those positions and then I'll trade around that based on the indexes and what they offer us every day going into Fed. All right, guys, catch you next Friday. Cheers. Hey, traders, this is Sam with Simpler Trading. I want to thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully you found the information in it helpful. If you did, leave us a like, leave us a comment. It really does help us out with the algorithm. And if you want to see us trade live with our own real money and be part of the community, come and check us out at simplertrading.com.